I hope you're doing better today than you were yesterday. And even if you aren't, just know that today you are closer to being over this than you were yesterday. So every second you go through on this particular part of your journey is getting you closer to when you're not gonna be feeling like this anymore. So even if you're having a hard time right now, just know that that's a hard time that you're experiencing right now that you're not gonna have to experience later <laughs> because you are getting closer every second to being okay with this. So take it one day at a time and then to help you a little bit with how you're feeling, I want you to think about the first time that you met your ex. And I want you to think about the kind of person you were before. And I've talked about this before and I wanna go into a little more detail about that feeling. So before you met your ex, I'm sure you had ideals of the kind of person you wanted in a partner. You had lists of, I want them to look like this, I want them to act like this, I want them to be like this. And then you met your old partner, your ex, and I'm sure that they didn't really meet that criteria. A lot of people, when you first met your ex, I'm sure you can think back and think, I wasn't really even attracted to them. They weren't on my radar at all. But now, they're so important to you. But really, did they meet the ideals that you had before you started the relationship with them? And the answer is probably no. Uh, and that's because we start to settle. So when you met your ex, he probably, or she, was probably not meeting the criteria of the list. But you decided somewhere along the line that maybe that wasn't as important to you. Um, and then you kept settling and settling and settling. And because of the way that we were raised, you were thinking, okay, this is my one person. This is the person. But really, when you think about it, they were not what you had intended, you wanted. But because of the way that we're told in movies and we're conditioned that you meet this one person and they're going to be perfect for you. They're gonna be your soulmate, the one person you can be with. You start to settle and forget these things that were important to you because of that narrative. Because of that narrative that says, you know, you're supposed to have this perfect one person in the world. So then you kind of forget about those um, things that you wanted in a mate in order to fit that narrative. This person's perfect for me. They're the only one. They're the person that I'm meant to be with that one person. But that's not really true. Um, what you did there was you settled and then you started convincing yourself that this was the one person because that's what you've been taught. And so now you're feeling really, really upset because you lost that one person, that one person who can never be replaced. That's not really how life works. That's not really how real life works. That's how movies work. That's just a narrative. The reality is there's billions of people on the planet and one of, just logically, one of those people is mathematically more, going to have more of the attributes that you originally wanted. But because you wanted to make this person your soulmate, you settled and you started to forget about those things you wanted. So try to refocus on those original ideas of that person you wanted. Um, and just remember that that person that you were with, they didn't meet all the criteria that you wanted. And logically, with so many people on the planet, there's somebody who meets that criteria better. That you, obviously, there's always going to be um, compromise in relationships. But I'm sure that you let go of a lot of the things that were important to you. Um, that's why 50% of marriages end in divorce or whatever the statistic is, is because it's unlikely that that was the person for you with all the millions of people in the world, billions of people. It was unlikely and there is someone who is more likely to be a better fit, especially the younger you are. What are the odds that you met the person that you're supposed to be with when you were 22 years old? Not very good. You know why people fall in love really easily when they're young? Because they don't know exactly what they want yet. That's why when people are in relationships when they're young or get married when they're young, it usually doesn't work out because they're not really sure what they want yet and they're just settling, settling, settling. So use this time to get to know yourself better, the things that you want, 
what's important to you so you don't have to settle so much the next time. And make sure you focus on your emotional maturity. So the person that you attract coming in is somebody who is of a higher level, of a higher maturity, that you're gonna have not to settle so many things for. Uh, younger people, they know less what they want. So if you're young, give yourself a break. If you're older, give yourself a break. The longer you are in the relationship, the longer it's gonna take for you to feel okay being by yourself. But that's also because you probably had to settle more and more and more because you were in this for a long time. So the amount that you had to give up, you feel like Ugh, it's a bigger loss because you settled so much. You gave so much. That comfort was there so much. So just remember your ex was not perfect when you met them and your mind might be tricking you into thinking you lost that one person because you had to build that up in your mind because it's just a narrative we've been taught. This is the one person, but honestly, just mathematically, you can do better and you can find somebody who's closer to what you want. So think about what that is.